Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Snowflake Christmas Home Decor DIY. For this one, we need a bunch of wood craft sticks. I'm using the Jumbo ones. And I'm actually going to be cutting them in two with my X-Acto knife, like over my mouse pad, because I couldn't find the uh, the medium size. But if you have access to them, just go ahead and use those. I ended up using a bunch of them, actually. I used two packs of 20, just so you know we're going to be needing a bunch of them. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. The first one is a small one. For this one, I'm going to be gluing one wood stick on top of the other, like that in the middle. And then the third one, like so, like making a cross. I'm going to be taking one wood stick and I'm just going to mark where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it with my cutters with a bit of an angle like that and I'm just going to glue them with the angled part meeting in there if that makes any sense. And this is what I ended up doing in most of them so I'm just going to be doing the same thing all around this and just because I wanted them all like the same size I just ended up basing myself from the first ones that I just cut it and I'm just going to pretty much be gluing them as I did before and I'm going to be doing that in all of them. And this is actually the base for this one. For the second one, I'm going to be gluing one wood stick on top of the other like that. And I'm just going to be doing that twice. And then I'm just going to be uh, gluing them in the middle like that, like forming a cross. So once I have done that, I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did before with like the tails. Followed to that, I'm going to be uh, gluing another one, a bigger one. I'm going to be doing the same thing, but just bigger. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing the same thing in all edges. This one, it's the same as far as like gluing one wood stick on top of the other. But in this case, I'm just going to be gluing three wood sticks together. If you can get uh, larger like wood sticks, just go ahead and do that. So I just ended up doing this three times. I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did on the first one as far as gluing the whole thing. This is where it gets kind of tricky, but I'm going to try my best to be as clear as I can with what I'm doing here. I'm going to be cutting six wood sticks in the middle. I'm gluing two sticks from one end, like a UB almost, and then I'm just going to be cutting the excess. But before I go ahead and glue my UB, we could call it, I'm just going to mark how much of like the, the edges I'm going to be cutting with a bit of an angle as the beginning and then I'm just going to cut them and I'm just going to glue those uh, pieces together in there and I would suggest to stick to one side when you're working with like all the glue and stuff so everything that you glue stays on the back and the front is like cleaner and prettier but that's just my opinion and I'm just going to be doing that uh, six times until my star is complete once I've done that, this is pretty easy and we have done this before. I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did on like the first one, adding those to the ends of my leg, we could say. I'm just going to be doing this all the way around. I'm going to be painting this with wet acrylic paint and a brush and I'm just going to be covering front and edges. I actually gave this two coats. I didn't cover the back of it because the back of it's going to be like pretty much facing the wall. So I didn't see a point on like painting the back if it's not going to be visible anyways. But that's again personal preference. And then to make this nice and shiny, I'm going to be using this glitter glue and a brush. In person, it shines a lot. It was the first time that I tried this, by the way. It's actually pretty easy this one to use. I wanted my snowflakes to look shiny but not tacky shiny if you know what I mean this works perfect for that the glitter on it is just beautiful and I liked it because it's pigmented it wasn't as sheer as I thought it was gonna be I actually applied two coats of this it's super easy to apply it dried fast and yeah I totally recommend this one but yeah I'm just going to be doing this in all of them I'm just going to be adding some tape so I can glue them to the wall the small one that I, I'm showing you right now, this is the side that I should have painted because the glue was in the part that I ended up painting. So yeah, just so you know, I should have done that. And here comes uh, the fun part, which is like placing them. I'm going to remove that part of like the tape itself, press it onto the wall. Next year, I'm going to be making a lot more of this because I love them. Even though they take a lot of like wood sticks to make, I think they are worth it. This is one of my fave projects that I've done so far. And I hopefully I'm inspired you to create something like this. They are not actually that time consuming and I think together they look super cool. It was hard to show you how the glitter was showing because yeah sometimes glitter works better 
when it's like not like super bright but yeah i was trying to uh, show you from like a lot of angles with movement because this is when uh the whole thing sparkles more with the lights on lights off all that a bit tricky to show you this because i was falling down the stairs a couple of times but it's all worth it i think this would look even better on like a smooth wall mine isn't and sometimes it's hard to appreciate these kinds of things but i like them anyways hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff christmas related stuff all throughout this month so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys